Hi boys and girls! Today we're going to be working on lesson 10-4, which is called Find Parts of the Number 11, the Number 12, and the Number 13. So first, let's make sure that we can go over what the numbers are. So the number 11 is a 1 and a 1, the number 11. The number 12 is a 1 and a 2. And the number 13 is a 1 and a Three. So today we're going to start off our class time together working on solving a problem together about a train. Now if you look at the math mat paper, you will notice that the train has two cars. There's a yellow car. And there's a blue car. Now, these look very similar to a math tool that we know. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you remember what we call that? We call it a ten frame. So today we're going to be working on creating the number 13 out of two parts of a ten frame. And here's how we work on this. We are going to start with number one and count on until we get to 13. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Now that whole yellow one's filled up, but we're not done yet. We have to go the whole way to 13. So now let's count on from 10. What comes after 10? 11, 12, 13. Okay, we've made it to 13. Let's look closely at our 10 frames. We have the whole yellow one filled in. I don't even have to count that. I know if the whole thing is filled in, I count it the fast way. 10. Here's 10, and the blue one shows three more. 10 and three more. We've been working on this. We can show 10 and three more as an equation. 10 and three. And we write it like this. We write it as 10 plus, plus means and, three. So in our equation, we're going to put the 10 here. And the three here. Boys and girls, we call these numbers that are around plus sign, we call them add-ins. And add-ins mean our two little parts that we're putting together to make the big part. Our big part is way over here, the equal sign. So we're just showing the two parts of 13. We show 13 by having 10 and 3. And look, here's my 1. That's where that 10 comes from. And here's my 3. That's where the 3 comes from. We read this equation like this. 13 equals 10 plus 3. Will you read that with me? 13 equals 10 plus 3. Now, the cool thing about math is we can read it frontward. And in addition, we can read it backwards. So we can read it this way, too. 3 plus 10 equals 13. So there's two ways to read that equation. We're going to work a little bit more uh, finding parts of 11, 12, and 13 on the next page. So I'll see you in a few minutes. 